Well, good morning. You know, it's Monday and I'm here to say thank you all for allowing me to uh, connect with you and uh, be a part of your day, uh, morning, uh, evening, whatever it is for you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, to start my day off, I really want to talk to my audience about the importance of flexibility. And why is flexibility important today? Because as we've conditioned the majority of the people in our world to be one-dimensional, the one-dimensional way of thinking no longer exists when the, when the industrial way of thinking died. Now we live in this thing called the informational way of living and thinking and being. And because of that, we have to develop the art of flexibility within ourselves as individuals. Because when you look at individuals, they're programmed either one-dimensional or they're programmed being flexible. The minority are being programmed to be flexible. And the reason why, because flexibility is a personal choice. It's a part of your character and integrity related to you and your dreams and your goals and ultimately achieving it in the long term. What the, minor, what the majority tend to do is become conditioned by society's ways of thinking and putting you as a pawn to be placed in a specific area with a specific title, with specific credentials and status. And then once you either get it or you don't get it, you're still not happy with the outcome anyways. We have a lot of unhappy people studying things they don't want to study because it's not related to their dreams and passions. We have a lot of unhappy people doing jobs that they don't want to do but they're doing it anyways because they got to put food on the table but they're still not happy with themselves and they wake up bitter angry frustrated pissed off you know they're edgy they're drinking excessively or drinking um every other day or whatever the case may be i don't know they're smoking they're doing all these things to hurt themselves mentally physically and emotionally only because they feel they have no other choice when we all have choice which is why it's important for us to develop the art of flexibility. The art of flexibility is something that helps us be the pressure. It's like the pressure valve in this crisis world that we live in that we can release as individuals for ourselves. And how we go about doing that is this. A person decides that they want to become an executive chef. They start off, they start off going to college in their first year and they decide that they want to get a job. Well, hey, if my dream is to become a chef, I think I might want to look into possibly working part-time maybe as a frontline cook at Denny's or at a restaurant because I know for a fact that some of the skills that I'll gain around my leadership skills, the skills related to the actual cooking of food and prepping will add value to the academic side of things. That's called being flexible. When most people, what they like to do is they say, okay, I want to become a chef, but I'm going to go work at the club. Okay, you make great money, but how does that pay off for you in the long term? In the short term, you're taking care of things, meaning the money helps you with other areas, which is great. But you're not creating a true win-win outcome. You're only getting short-term gain for long-term pain. And what we have to do is strategize and understand ourselves enough to realize that we have to be flexible. We have to adapt the art of flexibility in our dreams and goals and how we live. Because if we don't, the world's going to chew you up and spit you out and you won't like it. Because it's happening now, more than ever, we have hundreds and thousands of people looking for jobs, and yet there's like 20 jobs, but there's hundreds of thousands of people trying to get a job. Like, I mean, think about how many people are being chewed up and spit out now. It's, it's happening on a daily basis. So it's time for us to take control of our lives. It's time for us to really grasp the idea of flexibility for ourselves and our future. This doesn't mean that this applies to only young people. This applies to everybody. You can be in your 50s and you can still put in concept of flexibility for yourself. If you decide that you want to go after something, okay, how can we be flexible? If we're in the moment right now and we're being flexible, keep on doing what you're doing because the long-term um, impacts of what you're choosing to do is going to add value to you. And when it adds value to you, you feel significant and important and you feel that you can inspire others to do the same. It's a domino effect. But if we become conditioned by the world standards, then the world's going to just put us where they want to put us and spit us out when they're ready and you'll have nothing to show for it so the art of flexibility very important i hope that everybody grasps what i'm trying to say i hope everybody understands the importance of being flexible and i hope that everybody starts to realize that as we approach this season of change such as people going to school and changing jobs be flexible within the scope of what you're doing because if you're not flexible you're going to end up becoming bitter resentful 
and you're going to try to quit. You're going to try to um, make excuses on trying to change something. And then when you start to do that, you're, you're ultimately not happy because you're starting off on the foot of negativity. You're starting off on the foot of um, discouragement and not encouragement. You're starting off on the foot of making sure that you can never progress. You'll just maintain and be mediocre. Have a great day.